Hi everybody, Cynthia here. I'm back with my Jingle Jangle in July. Oh, not in July. We're in December. Sorry. Jingle Jangle Christmas series. And as you can see here, I have some full-size Hershey chocolate bars. And a friend of mine wanted me to make her some wrappers because she wants to hand these out to her kids um, before winter break at school and some of the kids do not celebrate Christmas so we decided to do a cute snowman and I just did a blue polka dot ribbon here with snowflakes um, embossed the hat and I drew on the face and I'm going to show you guys how to make this and then these I did more with a little holly and berry ribbon and some ribbon up top and they're just the Hershey bar wrappers, they've been around forever, just decided to um, create a snowman. So that's what we're going to make today. I'm just going to take out my Hershey bars. And I decided these are so cute, I'm going to make a bunch more, probably for some of my coworkers and some stocking stuffers. You know, why not? So we're going to be making this one here with that ribbon. So I'm going to put these aside, and let me get out my scoreboard. One year I think we made together, um, I'm pretty sure I did the tutorial on these, the um, Santa suit uh, wrappers for the candy, or for the Hershey bars. So this will be fun to do a different one. Okay, so what you're going to need is a sheet of white cardstock that measures six by five and three quarters. You're going to line it up at the six inch mark. And we're going to score it two and a quarter, two and a half, four and three quarters. And again at five. Okay, I'm going to repeat that. Two and a quarter, two and a half, four and three quarter, and five. And you put your scoreboard away. And we'll fold up the score lines. I would really like to try to make like a Christmas elf one. So if I can figure one out for you, I will definitely be back to do the tutorial on it. But these make perfect stocking stuffers for that chocolate lover that you have in your family or friends. Okay, so we folded up our score lines, and it's basically going to fold up like this. And it's just going to wrap around our, our candy bar. But let's set this aside for now, and we are going to work on the snowman hat. So the hat, the top rim, you're going to want three and a half by two and a half, and then for the actual rim of the hat, three by one, three inches by one. And then here we're just going to go in the bottom right hand corner, go in about an eighth of an inch, and you're just going to cut at an angle right up to the tip. So that looks like that. Flip it around, do the same thing. Go in about an eighth of an inch from the right hand corner here and then just trim it off at an angle to meet up with that top corner just so it kind of slants the top of your hat here and then we're going to glue on the three by one inch piece Oh. 
So you want it to stick out pretty even on both sides and you want the one inch piece to meet up with the bottom of the hat here. Okay, so you could leave it like this if you wanted to, but we're going to take it a few steps further. You could also use glitter cardstock. That would look really pretty if you like glitter. And I'm going to get out my my handy dandy old school cuddle bag and my embossing folder. The embossing folder that I used for this hat has some flourishes and snowflakes in it, so I'm going to use that again. And not sure how I want to place it yet, um, but I think that looks good right like that. I'm run it through. Okay, so on it, it made this really pretty snowflake flourish pattern, and you could leave it like that if you want, but I took it another step further, and I took some white, some of my white ink here, and this, paper, this pad is so, so worn, I really need a new one. Um, I'm going to get a piece of scratch paper here, and I'm just going to lightly rub it over those snowflakes just to kind of bring them out a little bit more. You can kind of see it coming to life here. Okay, so now you can see those snowflakes a little bit more. And then I'm just going to go around the edge and just give it like a white edge all the way around. And now it's finished. Okay. Now I'm going to take my um, candy bar wrapper and my hat. I'm going to flip my hat around. And I'm going to add glue to the top, but just in the center here, and go right down the center, because some of this is going to be hanging off, and the bottom there. And we're going to meet this top right along the edge of this. And you want to center it so you have the same amount hanging off on both sides. I just took some ribbon and you could do this before you glue your hat on um, just run some hot glue right above that rim and just lay your ribbon right on there and then you're just going to trim it off and then I'm going to go in and just nip off that excess Like I said, you could do this before you glue your hat down. It would probably be a lot easier. And then for this, I'm just going to make a simple bow by just tying a knot in it. And then trim it at an angle on both sides. set my ribbon aside, put a little hot glue on the back of that bow, and I'll just angle that up here so it's kind of hanging off, just like that. And then I took some Dollar Tree, which I have them right here. I got these at the Dollar Tree, and they're the foam glitter stickers, and I'm just going to take one of these glitter snowflakes. Now these are very sticky but because I am going over and overlapping it over this ribbon I'm just gonna add a little 
tiny bit of hot glue to the back of it just to make sure it stays secure. And push that on. Okay, now at this point you need to draw your face. And for those of you that are nervous about drawing faces, on Pinterest, you can look these up, you can just say snowman faces, um, whatever, but I have on my Pinterest, and there is a link below to my Pinterest account, in the Christmas crafts section, there's a bunch of these. Faces, eyeballs, eyelashes, wonky carrot noses, there's even little beaks here. Um, if you want to just take a look at these, you can, just to kind of get an idea of what you might like to draw. Um, and if you're not, if you really don't want to draw a face kind of like this, you can just take your markers and draw two big round black circles, an orange stick of a nose here, and just a smile and call it a day. I did practice on this one, so you could do something similar to what I just said. Two round circles, maybe make some eyelashes, simple carrot nose, and a smile. And that would look super cute. Um, but I did practice this one first, and I thought, that's a lot cuter, so I'm going to go with that. So all I did was I made two half moon shapes going right across from each other. Let me uh, zoom in a little. And then above it I made upside down U's. So one here and an upside down U here. And then at this very corner here I just did an extra eyelash at the bottom. From the middle of the upside down U I just did kind of like a half moon for eyebrows and then I just went out in like a candy cane shape right here in the eyes drew like an upside down half moon and then a rounded edge and then I just colored these in in black And then in between here, I went down a little and drew that as part of my carrot nose. And then one bump and a second bump, one bump and a second bump, two lines here and two lines here for the carrot nose. And it's very wonky, but it's super cute. And then in between both eyes, if you move down here, you can draw your smile and then some crescent shapes for the cheeks and the tongue or the lip and then I just drew right here for a little chin that's all I did guys I took my blue marker and I colored this part blue like I said I did practice first before I did it on here and then some round circles here with a very light pink marker make it look like blush I used a red marker down here for the lip and then orange for his carrot nose And then I just took my white jelly roll pen and did two circles in here for the eyeballs. And then I'm going to draw some eyelashes. So I'm going to draw one small, medium, and large. So three different size eyelashes. And that's it, guys. That is our cute snowman face and candy wrapper. I mean, back the camera out and I'll show you how to attach these. So all you're going to do is on this small flap here, you're going to want to add some double sided tape, flip it around 
and on the edge of this flap on the inside you're going to want to add double sided tape and then close this up and have this this edge you're going to meet with this edge so just take your time doing that and press down and voila you have your Hershey bar candy wrapper okay if you guys have any questions let me know I hope you give it a try if you do I'd love to see your video or your photographs just just let me know in the comments below and thank you guys so much for watching take care and happy crafting